The man accused in the Southside Kroger killing is expected to meet a judge for the first time later this morning. Jason Cooper is now charged with murdering 43-year-old Carlos Castro. Carlos Diaz is at the city county building this morning with new details in the case. Carlos? Now, Julia, Metro Police confirming to us that Carlos Castro was shot at that Kroger with his own gun. And court documents also show that he was stabbed with a knife that was found at that Kroger just moments earlier. Now, the Marion County coroner is also saying that they are still trying to determine if Castro died from a knife wound or a gunshot. Witnesses told police they saw or heard both weapons used in that incident on Friday night. Police believe Jason Cooper first stabbed Castro before getting control of Castro's gun, firing that gun three times inside that Kroger, and then once as he was fleeing the scene. Now, we spoke with Cooper's old roommate, who was shocked to hear of the alleged murder, but he does tell us Cooper had anger issues. I couldn't believe that he would actually go and just kill somebody. I don't know why he, you know, he did it. Like, if, if it was an alteration between the two people or something, or if he just killed him. He did have a temple on him, and he could snap at sometimes, but when he was living with me, he never really snapped or anything like that. Now, we dug into Cooper's criminal past. We learned that Cooper took plea deals in the past for sexual misconduct with a minor, theft, and drug possession. He has served time in prison and is a registered sex offender. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, guys, we're going to hear from the family of the victim in this case, as well as neighbors of Carlos Castro, who describe him as a good person, a good worker, and a great family man. Ben, Julia.